Take it over, take it back. 26. 81. 60. 43. A very good afternoon and welcome to the Kalani Darts Festival. Alan, 100. The Republic of Ireland in Kalani. Alan, 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 with Kalani Open and uh, our first streamed game of the day. 137. This man, Connor Hennigan, playing against Dara Healy. Both Irish lads. Looking 140. to make their way through the Kalani Open. A good backdrop there. You can see the games going on in the background. It's the best of seven legs, so the first of four. And looking forward to this. Connor recently has struck a nine dart leg, so... 131. And that one Dari one acquire 140. Tops has certainly put him in a very strong position in this first leg. 40. Connor, you acquire 40. Tops for the first leg. Game and shot on the first leg. Dog. Connor Heenhan. Oh. Bang in the middle oh. of the bed. Oh. Second leg, it's Darryl Cho first. That Game was, of one. On his throw, so Connor won the ball. And his throw 43. In leg one. Three, five, and seven. Should we get that far, of course? 135. Nice pace to the game. Not standing on ceremony, these two boys. 83. Away 180. The, oh, the first 180 of the day on the stream, of course. I'm not saying there hasn't been a 180 on the floor. I'm sure there's been one or two. 26. Nice atmosphere here in the Glen Eagle Hotel. 54. And ladies Kalani open underway. I mean, I'm in the background here. There's a an upstairs, you can just about see it in the top of the corner above the players. 60, can I require 132? Connor on the 132, looking for what we would call the champagne shot. The ball, ball 80. wasn't to be, but he's not off 80 to leave 52. And Dara, who had the throw here, is a, is a, is a fair way behind, so. 44, can you acquire 52? Yeah, he's gone the 12 double top route. To be fair, he hit the double top. Game shot on second Connor. leg. Exactly Connor Heenan. So 100% on the doubles for Connor. Third leg, it's Connor Cho first. Game on. And it's Connor throwing first in leg three. So obviously now has a really big advantage. It's the first of four. He's 100. He had to be broken to lose the game anyway. And having broken his opponent's throw, he really has got a commanding advantage at the moment. A lot to do for this young man, for Dara. 100. Looking, for, looking forward to a good weekend here. 140. At the Hotel. We have, of course, the Kalani Open tomorrow. The gold ranked Kalani Open, followed by the Kalani. 26. Uh, sorry, the um, Irish Open, I should say, and then the Irish um, Masters on Sunday. So. 45 58 Some good control here Connor 216 96 taking off the 96 to leave 120 and again Dara way behind here 60, Connor can't require 120. 9.8 as well. Yeah. Very, we really pleased with his average here. Jason won't be happy with that. Five first dart, 120. 40. When he looks back and sees that Dara's on 257, he won't be too concerned. He's almost bought himself the time to have that slip. 
25. Connor, you acquire 80. Single 20 for double top. Tops then. He's two from two on tops. He's now three from Game three. Game shot and the third Stunning leg. Connor, Connor Hennigan. Fourth leg. He's it's Dara Troll one first. One leg away from moving into the next round. Game on. One hundred and forty. Good start there for Dara. Fifty-eight. To start the leg. Forty-one. Sixty. Disappointed not to have found the treble there, Connor. There's Sixty odd points in front here, Darif. He's he knows that he's got to win 60. all four of the remaining legs if he's to progress to the next round. <laughs> Bit of grimace there from Connor. Sixty-six. Uh, having hit the sixty-first dart to only score sixty-six, he won't be overly chuffed. Dara's found the treble again. Can he fill it up? 140. He'll take 140. Leaves in the Shanghai of 120. And it's Connor's turn to be way back this time. Back on 317. 140. Dara require 120. Dara really needs to either take this or at least leave himself with a decent finish. Needs a treble here. 42. 42 leaves 78. Still leaves it difficult. So if Connor can find the treble which he has yeah. he take one three well 17 here for the tops oh, 123 Dari acquires 78 mm. 31 scored losing 47 should be down the bottom here mm. yep 32 46 left. Connor with those two Connor acquire 54 throws, wants 54 tops it is he's three from three Wow, he's missed. Double ten. And there Game shot and the match. Four Connor Heenahan. Legs to nil. Five darts at doubles. It was all it took Connor Hannigan. And he progresses to the next round with a 4-0 victory over Ireland's Dada Healy. We'll be back with your next game in the very near future. Four legs to nil. The 1180, which Connor struck. Four 140s was quite telling, and the hundreds pluses of five there. You can see in, in all of the departments it was higher than Dara. And then, of course, the average, the 87.68. And the highest checkout there for Connor of 80. And as I say, he only had five darts at doubles in total and hit four of them. So you're not going to go far wrong if you can average, you know, 87, 88 and above and hit a, a double percentage of four out of five, you're not going to be far away. Good win for Connor. We'll see you shortly.
Are you bullying up before the game or what, 3-3? Three, three? Welcome back to the Kalani Darts Festival. We are about to watch a game between Martin Murphy and Kieran Tian in the Kalani Open. It's the best of seven, there's Kieran. I've been joined by Ollie Monaghan. Good morning, Ollie. No, good afternoon, Ollie. Sorry, I've, I haven't been up that long. That's a lie. <laughs> good afternoon, Nick. It's, uh, yeah, this looks uh, a nice match. Obviously, everybody knows uh, Kieran playing international and across the waters yeah good, very good youth player in his day too also did Earth. also did very well in our re in the recent Europe Cup as well with the Irish team Merton a guy I know from uh, Roscommon he's from Elfin and Roscommon he plays County Darts and uh, an experienced player I admittedly haven't seen him play in the last six or eight months but uh, he knows what he has to do Easy that's, that's always a good start. That's the sort of uh, knowledge you're going to be able to bring to this, uh, Ollie. That I'm not going to know where you know the different counties and sets. And, and Kieran, uh, where does uh, where does he play at? Kieran plays Cork. He's, he's Cork City. Yeah, mm -hmm. he loves he loves his uh, Cork jersey. He's a great representative of Cork. Good, good. He came through the Cork youth system as well. There's a great system there in Cork where they look after the youths. It's a fantastic setup. Yep. All the Elaine Fitzgerald and all the. All the guys down there that do That's great work with the youths. <laughs> we're just waiting for our. Uh, just going to throw up a video from a previous game. Here we go. The lovely one three nine by Brendan Kelly to win a match. Lovely darts. That put his team through to the next I'll round. I'll tell you what I liked about that. There was a gentleman on the on the stage there, uh, uh, just off the stage behind, who was watching. And as the last dart went, and he went off cheering, you could see him. I don't know whether the guys. Are you able to show that again, guys? Very quickly. Just just have a quick watch of the guy that stood at the bottom of the stage. They're just setting it up again. I think you'll just about see him. Where he goes flying across as he hits the double top. There you go, the guy, it was actually the guy on the stage, it's oh, his teammate that Mark just went charging across the Mark stage. Mark Cullen. <laughs> Brilliant. His, his teammate, oh, uh, Mark, yeah. fellow Irish player. Yeah. Yeah, 139. Yeah, in the Europe Cup as well. Yeah, and played extremely I've never well. Seen, never seen him have that much emotion on the, on the stage before. Look at him nodding away there in the background. There's the 42, uh, he knows he's he wants stops. I didn't see that. What Everyone was on about Brendan's match. expression. Cool dude with the thumbs up. Yeah, and the Donegal what lads were, you know, I, I think obviously three, they were nine. gutted, but they they sort of nodded in appreciation as if say, yeah, what can you do about that? If someone takes a one three nine, you've got to stand and take it, right? Oh, you can't argue with that. Uh, they were three one up in the match, Ooh. but uh, Paddy Cullen, as we know, Paddy with the Irish shoots. Yeah. Paddy had a 140 check out in one of his matches and uh, that yeah. 139 when you have those sort of check outs against you it's yeah, hard to, of course. Hard to of compete. Course. Well, we just watched the first game on the stream this morning which was Connor Henney and, and uh, Dada Healy and uh, Connor hit uh, he, he was three in lap and hit tops 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 one dart on each attempt and then disgraced himself in the last leg by missing tops and then hitting double ten so he actually only had four, five darts of doubles and oh, hit four of them didn't see so, that much yeah. and an 80 I think it was an 82 uh, sorry an 87 average so you know if a player's going to hit an 87 average and have an 80 percent check out the doubles make it a big difference to beat aren't they yeah that makes the huge difference and the the averages is the, your checkout percentage isn't it yeah really does uh, Connor as I was saying yesterday he had a um, Nine darts are in a local competition. I've la actually lost track of how many nine darts he has done in 2022. Really? Playing yeah. super darts. And have you lost track because you can't count more than two or three, or is it just that you well, <laughs> I'm, think I'm <laughs> joking with you, I'm joking with you, Ollie. <laughs> first, well, I can go back to when he hit his first one when he was 13 years of age. Would you believe that? Well, 13. So it's no surprise that he's hitting nine darts. Yeah, yeah, very much so. Turning 20. Brilliant. So how is uh, how is Irish darts in Ollie? While well, we've got a couple of minutes, we can just uh, how's the state of Irish darts? Irish darts is in excellent condition. Um, the youths are really coming through. Um, 
obviously everyone knows Keane and uh, the lad Steve playing playing across the water and playing very well yep. but the likes of Killian Heffern and uh, Killian was at the same level as uh, Keane when he was playing youth but Keane is, or Killian is starting to really progress through the men's system so there's a lot of players on the ground even on the stage here yesterday there's players that were very impressive yeah. in different counties and obviously in the in the girls uh, as well Katie's now progressed into the senior she's gone o- over the age of 18 so yes. and she's uh, making a mark in in the in the senior world of the arts and the girls in the ladies she most certainly is uh, the one thing I've noticed in the last six months is that we had a girl since 2014 playing she turned 18 in 2014 Robin Byrne yeah she, she was playing superb superb darts for a number of years and she had bit of trouble with their ties and different things and her form dropped off but i notice she's starting to do what she had been doing four or five years ago she's really killing off games and playing yep. exceptionally well she did the same here on stage yesterday pushed by katie do you think or got a oh, bit of a confidence in uh, herself they, they get on really well don't they the two girls. joe were green here yesterday they're kind of bouncing off each other both from dublin and there's a one other girl in particular that's coming through. Uh, she's from Waterford, Aoife McCormick. I was watching her playing here in the, here last year and at the Intercounties in spring. And she is playing at a standard similar to the two girls just to get the experience. So uh, Good. Even, Good. Even, at, even uh, the numbers of girls that are coming out playing is huge. Brilliant. So it, it's, We've got it's another. very good. Another game from, uh, I'm assuming this one's also from last night. Yep, from last night. This is the final of the uh, the team event from last night. Ah, the final. Yes, you can see it's a bit Colour. sparse in the crowd. I think it was early morning, wasn't it? It there was, was a quite a late, morning, yeah. late finish. So 17th this for the... This was Cullum Ryan. The guy that got married during the year. Great way to celebrate himself and the wife. I met them there earlier in the Double day. 13. And there he is. And he kills it. Both teams from Offaly. It's a credit too to uh, Leanne Holland. Leanne, who works, who is a NINDO official as well, uh, she looks after the Offaly County team. So yep. it's an absolute credit to her the fact that ten of her really team players ended up pl- contesting the final of the team event yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. There we go. We're back live. There, you can see the two players still warming up. Uh, let's hope that uh, Kieran's more interested in playing, you know, some computer game on his phone or whatever, or <laughs> texting his mates or whatever but the um in the background you can see games going on across the across the boards in the kalani open um this uh, setup with the darts connect i have to say is the first time i've seen it fully in action uh watching the control desk there um chris kern and greg from uh, darts connect yeah greg tongs over here from dark connect yep great great mm. work yeah and look it, it, it's a fantastic system i think that the the fact that you you know that uh, I suppose so. We've been playing back in the WDF now since June 2021, and uh, look, there's no getting away from. There's been a few, you know, small issues with people getting used to it. And for example, I'll, I'll use my f- good friends in Romania. I go and do the tournament. When you first rock up there with Dark Connect, it's almost like, oh my god, what is this? I'm afraid of technology, etc. Yes. And that was on the Saturday, and we were helping the players to 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 use the system, etc. Uh, and then come the Sunday, it was, it was just a completely different atmosphere. Yeah, no, I don't need your help. I'm fine. All I've got to do is plug in the numbers. I, yes, if as long as I can add them up now, I don't need to do the taking away. Yes. So I think that's that's a big positive. Uh, kudos to the to the Romanians. Uh, what's what's the guy's name that's over there? Vlad. Vlad Popa. Vlad yeah. Popa. Yeah. yeah, nice guy. You met him yeah. in um, 2014-15, and mm. I've met him a few times. Met him in Spain there, the Europe Cup. Yeah. And. Uh, they're very passionate about the about the sport. Yeah, of course. And they do they do a lot of work. Hopefully, get over there. I think it's in January, is it? Yep, the January it is indeed. And then, of course, you with Dark Connect as well. Uh, look, it's very obvious to say, but literally, you could be anywhere in the world now as long as you've got an internet connection. Which, you know, ten years ago, you might have been going, "Oh, well, can anybody get an internet connection?" But that's not now the case, and um, most people can get an internet con- internet connection. And you're I'm using inverted commas. You're watching the game live because yes. you can literally pick the game that you want to watch and 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 see it. Oh, personally, sitting at home watching matches throughout the year and to be able to follow how people are playing, you can see results. But to actually follow scores and see how they're actually, you can see how scores and you can see averages. But to actually see how the matches pan out, how they respond to scores, yes, and finish, it's exactly great that. to follow. It just uh, there is, of course, the the technical side to it, and uh, that's. 
just a, a few small bits and pieces that you just need to iron out with the with the dark connect side of things but look it o overall it, it's, it's listen it's better than chalk and chalking and a bit of paper isn't it oh without a doubt yeah uh, that's the thing uh, to make sure that the players stay and mark their games but the 16 boards upstairs chatting with both <laughs> controllers up there and they reckon it's running very fluent yep once they know what boards they're on and what areas they're going to be Indeed playing so, in, and I think they're the there the players receiving uh, text messages and uh, yes. you know being able to see it, their email uh, sorry text messages emails to, to say look you're on board at this time and you can see the, the, the running order so to speak so I know I'm on board 7 and I can see there's another game on there that gives me 5 minutes to go to the loo go and get a beer and, or whatever so yeah and I've come across one or two guys that entered the competitions but didn't enter so Kieran won the ball so if they have entered the tournaments and not getting emails, they so can go to the Kieran to throw first, Absolutely. game on. Email address and they will get the rest of the notifications the rest of the week. Good. Makes well, life a lot easier. We're, we're ready to go now. The guys have balled up and uh, Kieran won the ball. So I believe, yep, I'm looking at our referee and he's chalking in the score and calling it out. So we're off and running. 32. There's another guy who likes to play the board up and down 19s, 20s. 99. Kieran looks to have a. He leans towards the board. He does. But he does. 60. He's capable of big scores. Very much so. He's a tall lad. I think. I, I mean, I'm six four, and I think he's. If not, if he's not taller than me, he's certainly the same height as me. And there's his first one eighty on the, on the stream today. I expect the first of many. That's it. And Connor Hennigan hit one one eighty. Nine. Kieran Acquire one hundred and sixty seven. A hundred and thirty-nine. Great leg from Kieran is fifty-five, ninety-nine, one eighty. I think one three nine to leave twenty-eight. That's right. Yeah, fifty-five, ninety-nine, one eighty. 139 is on 28 after 12, so it's possible 13 data here if Kieran. Kieran, you acquire 28. Can he get much closer? Time on his side as well with Martin Ooh. way back on no 361. Score. Hasn't found his feet as of yet. He'd like to. 60. Find a treble 20 just Kieran to get his eye in, so to speak. Yeah. Crazy, isn't it, Ollie? As you know, the two guys were warming up, and I could see Martin was saying, Look, I just hit shot whatever. In the first we, we can't quite see what he hit in the practice row. But somebody shouts Kieran game on, and suddenly yeah. everything changes, doesn't oh, it? Everything. <laughs> Second leg, it's Martin throw first. Game on. That's the secret to bring your practice game to the stage. It certainly is. 28. Team event last night, although it went on very late, it's still a great warm up for the weekend. Uh, I know 140. a lot of players were saying that uh, it was tough playing on the stage because they're not used to playing on the stage. So yeah. it, it benefited those, it gave them an experience of playing 60. on the stage. Yeah. Because we played numerous uh, group games on the mm. stage here, so a lot, a lot of players got to experience playing darts on the stage. Yeah. Well, Kieran certainly. 100. Hit. The ground running here, that thought, oh, I think it ended up being a 16 darter in the first leg. He's gone off 140, 100 in this leg, so. 60. Uh, and this was against the throw. Martin had the throw in this leg, which theoretically means he needs to win. The, he's got to break Kieran's throw to win the match, and uh, oh, this it's not looking as though Kieran's. 125. Give him too many sniffs. He's very consistent with his treble 20s. Yeah, 136, a nice, nice leave as well. Two treble 20s and a double eight. 28. I'm assuming he'll go to the Kieran Yokoi, 136. Are, of lots of ways to go. Yep, another one of those for double eight. I would be disappointed with that. But go three seventeens. Yep, treble seventeen would leave double twelve. <laughs> Sixty-seven. Next door. 
Mm. Yeah, 60 with his first start from 136 and didn't end up scoring half. 41. He Kieran, you acquire 69. 69 remaining. Choices here. 19s, 15s, or 7s. I wouldn't have gone that yeah, way myself. But 12 or 20. 20 37. 16 left. Mm, Shaking his head because he's disappointed that he just wants to kill the game off, you know. But yeah, they expect so much. They know how yeah. good they can play. Kieran Aguirre, 32. Yeah, he's not under any pressure, though. Martin back back in the 200. So double 16 then for Kieran for a 2-0 lead. Uh, probably double 24. eight. 24. So 24 scored. I think he's going to leave him eight. And he does indeed. Martin is starting to find his range. 100. Yes, yeah, so whether he's going to get the shot or one, two, four. Game shot no, on the second not. Those eight. first two Kieran were very inviting, weren't they? Just very ricochet very, yeah. when they used them beautifully just to flick in off of those two darts that were on the wire. Third leg, it's Kieran's throw first. Outside, Game on. So close. They're as good as you can call them good darts. Good darts. Back in the treble again. 105. First time I met Kieran, or Kieran was uh, as a youth. He was playing in IMD our youth ranking. And he didn't have the dress code with him. He didn't have the 45. And he was told that he couldn't play without the code. So, tall, lanky young fella. I'm going to say, yes. it's not like anybody's going to be able to find him a pair of dresses. 134. I have a spare pair in the, in the room, but I said, I don't think they're going to fit you. I said, it'd be but like shorts, wouldn't they? To make sure that he would play, we brought him up the room. 100. Sure enough, the pants were very loose on it, but we got a good, <laughs> we got a belt, but the welt wasn't tight enough. And I couldn't remember. T chatting with them here last year, we were on the same story. I couldn't remember what, what we did. And he said, we came down and we took the cable off the printer. And he wrapped the, table, the cable around in place 41. of the 41, Kieran Aguirre, 170. Well, there you go. Great memories. There's a story. And if he hits his 170, that would also be a story. It's not going to be a... But he could leave double 18 if he hits another treble 19, which he's done. 134. Might have lost a flight, but the dart stayed in the board, which is the most important thing. That's for John 60. Kieran, you're 36. He thought that Martin had found a bit of form when he hit his... Uh, that, that Game uh, shot on the third leg. Oh, sorry, 100 Kieran to leave 124 in the second leg, but not to be. And Four leg, it's Martin to throw first. up against it now. Game on. Twenty-nine. It's not easy playing against a guy that's averaging what Kieran is doing. Consistent ton pluses, and the same again here. One hundred and forty. Another one forty. We'll see the stats at the end of the game. We know he's got one one eighty. Forty-one. Eighty-five. Great guy, Kieran, as well. And a good chat with him at the Spanish Open. He's very keen to do well, obviously, for, a for himself, but also for the country as well. You, you Irish guys are very passionate about your darts and the team game in particular. I always feel that when we go to those tournaments, Ireland feels as though it's one of those countries that are really together and in it for each other. Yes. Um like even someone 80. said that one of the Dutch guys said to me that we had a lot of support when we were playing the team event against the Dutch but we always support our team regardless and even when they're struggling in a game which they were in the team event just, just keep encouraging 28 that's right I remember the team event though I think they were 5 or 6 nil down weren't they and pulled yeah. it back to it, it got to a, it a, a bit twitchy bum time wasn't it for the we Dutch had a, we had a very simple way of uh, describing the team semi-final with the Dutch we lost the first session 6 nil. And we won the second session 6 3, which was a strange way of looking. If you think if you win the last six ninety two games, you're going to win that match. Yeah. But now you can't yeah, afford yeah. to go 6 0 down. No, exactly that. Match. Exactly that. So Martin's theory 45. there of going downstairs on 303 was the right one, didn't execute it. And Kieran Kieran Kieran's got the chance now on 104. This for the match. So he's gone the 16 route and he wants to treble, six, treble 16 here. Okay, he's gone yeah, 64. He should come back down for the. 48. 
Okay, 68. Yeah, 68. He was going for treble 12. Just needed to do my own maths there. <laughs> oh, he lost me. Yeah, treble 16, single 16 on 104 is becoming Jared a bit of a popular route now. Because it leaves double top, but 56. He's got to tops eventually. Oof. No score. And no score. So... As, as he walked to the ball there, Kieran, he had a bit of a glance at it to make sure that Martin wasn't on the finish, and Martin's going to do the same as he did in leg two there. He's hit from 2.32, he's hit a ton to leave himself a finish, but is he going to get a shot? Game shot on the match. He's not. Kieran he's not. Oh, well, look, to Martin. You know Martin has, he's a county player and he has the darts. He used to put the pressure on when he needed to, but... Pressure yeah, didn't I think do anything to Kieran. I think the stats there tell the story, don't they? Yes. The 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 one eighties and the one forties uh, non existent for Martin, unfortunately. For Kieran Consistency. A single one eighty, three one forty, six one hundred pluses and an average of eighty one. No great big checkout, but look, he did what he needed to go to do to get through round two. And uh, I'm sure that he'll uh, you know uh, nobody will be wanting to play Kieran Tian, let's put it that way. No. So. Kieran will take a lot of beating there today. Indeed, so. Just looking at the floor there, um, one of the guys on to me says, you have a lot of dart boards. He said he can see nearly 32 boards. I said, there is 32 boards on the floor, but what you don't realise is there's back-to-back, -back, so there's another 32 either side of those. There's yeah. 10 more to the left wall, there's 20 upstairs, and there's 10 across in the American suite. Yeah, I know the entries for the tournament, as we go through the um, the reel of uh, Kieran winning his game there the, the entrance of the tournament up this year is up 10% I believe on last year which is obviously great for Irish darts as well and uh, yeah good 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 all round feel in the room as well you know it's not it's not overly crowded people having a bit of a chat enjoying the darts yes well when players know the facilities are there and they know they're going to get a good a good weekend of darts uh, plenty of boards practice boards comfort good food I even met uh, Bo Greaves and her sister out there, and uh, it's their first time here today. Yeah. And here it's a good one. And that's it. Yeah, Bo Greaves, of course, our ladies' world champion. We've also got our men's world champion in Neil Duff. They both, both of them are here, um, looking to add the Irish Open or Irish Classic titles to their to their hall of titles. I mean. Bo has just literally ripped up the ladies this year, uh, you know, both in the, in the WDF but also recently in the PDC Women's Series as well. Just a phenomenal person and such a laid-back young lady. It's uh, it's a pleasure to know her and pleasure to to be a, uh, have had the chance to referee for her. It's I suppose at this stage, uh, at a grassroots level, watching the dirt, you're kind of not wondering what is she capable of winning or how many she's capable of winning. Who's capable of taking the first one over it's <laughs> a good way of looking at it yeah although yeah, yeah. saying that watched uh, Robin Byrne and Bo play there in the last week or two in the Super Series whatever tournament that was and uh, Robin lost was it 5 nil or 5-1 to be fair Robin should have been 4 nil up she outscored Bo in the first four yeah. legs yeah played super mm. okay well we're going to take a short break while you're having a, a look round at uh, or we showing videos of the games from last night. Uh, we'll be back with our next game very shortly.
Welcome back to the Killarney Darts Festival here, here in the Glen Eagle Hotel in Killarney. It's Killarney Open Day and we've had a couple of men's games on the screen. We saw Connor Hennigan beat Dada Healy 4-0 and we saw Kieran T. It's Rian Cho first, uh, game on. He now swaps to the ladies and it's Wales against Ireland. And this 85. Lady, Rian O'Sullivan. Is playing Ireland's Ingrid Huburn for a, this is the best of seven. It's the second round game. Twenty six. And Ian, one of the top ladies, top, top yes, top ladies in 60. the ladies game. He's uh, been consistent throughout the year. Sixty. And he's made some. Uh, latter stages of many tournaments who she won the Spanish Open just recently uh, back 60. at the start of October which was a tournament that was played following the WDF Europe Cup in Spain uh, which is also the holder of the England National 36. Series Women's title she won that one back in July and then she's been runner-up in the Dutch Open runner-up in the Welsh Classic, 100 runner-up in the Viking Cup and uh all of those runner-up spots, I believe, were 37. to the phenomenal Bo Greaves, our world champion and the ladies' world number one at this moment in time. And also made the final of the world championships in 2022, back in uh, April. She's currently the number eight in the world. So looking for a good run. 11. Brian, you require 96. A, a WDF ranked event, but we do have the Kalani Open, the Kalani Classic, uh, sorry, the Irish Open and the Irish Classic tomorrow and on Sunday, which are the 26. Events, so, Rian looking to pick up some points from those. But for now, it's the Kalani Open. And 60. Nice straight darts there. Rian, you require Rick, 70. Rian on 70. Thirty. Five. Yeah. Brianna require the forty. Yeah, looking at tops. <laughs> you can tell by the expression on her face. Her Twenty. She was at that. That is her modus operandi. Topped is her favourite double. She will leave that whenever she possibly can. And it figures, therefore, that she should also like double ten. Rian, you acquire twenty. Double ten it is for the first leg. Game Rian. shot in first Took leg. The three darts, but hey, might as well use all three. You've got second all three. leg. It's so Rian off to a. Winning start with the first leg. English show first game. In these best of seven leg matches, the person that loses the ball does, of course, go into the match knowing that they're going to have to break the throw of their opponent to be able to qualify. Because if every leg went the darts, then Rian, on this occasion, it would be Rian that would win by four to three. So, really important here for Ingrid to hold her throw if at all possible. It's a tall order against Rian, as I say, in number eight. 40 in the world. That's been to the World Championship final before now. Phenomenal player. 41. She finds her form. And this year, she's entered a few more tournaments, but Ingrid here has shown that she's 140. not player either. Some 40 there. Takes her down to 239. And seeing the challenge in front of her has responded with the ton. And it is that consistency piece that Ingrid will be now disappointed having it at 140 to follow that with 26. Whereas 95% of the time, these top players will hit 100 60. and then follow it with 100 or a 60 or a 140. Yeah. It's just the consistency that, that keeps them at the top of the tree. 
45. In the background there, you can see the gents. Some games on, some are warming up for their next game. 60. But, uh, just been told by Kevin Devaney, our tournament director, that 60% through the, the games in the men's tournament, running very smoothly. 39. Dark Connect earlier. Choir, All of the games over the weekend being played through the Dark Connect system. The excellent 100. digital system that allows English choir, everyone around the world to be able to see all the games and actually go into the detail of games that uh, they particularly want 37. to watch. Thirty-seven. Vir choir, vir forty. Watch every game, every dart being thrown. And they've game just shot and the second leg. For those that are interested, Rihanna Sullivan. Sullivan go two legs. Third leg. It's Rihanna Cho first. Game on. Top. In the far background, the gentleman with the red top on there, another Welsh 41. international, the Welsh men's team Gloria captain, Gabriel Nick Kenny. Easily identifiable throw. 22. Nick, if, if and when you get to see him possibly on the stage later on or across the weekend. 60. Passionate about playing for his a very passionate guy, but very passionate about playing for his country, and was given the role of team captain this year. Forty-one. And Rianne, the team captain for the ladies in Wales. One hundred. Pressure really on Ingrid now. Those, as we were saying, she, she lost the ball, so she needs to. Break she needed to break Rianne's throw 81. once, she now needs to break it twice because obviously Rianne has broken her throw, so. 60. Very cool, calm and collected Rianne. Very confident in her own ability. Most 45. of the time a very good counter as well on the odd occasion where she doesn't she's not afraid to ask the referee you know what have I scored what have I got there for all 60. totally allowable in the game of darts the only thing the referee can't tell you is exactly what double or, or, or which way to go on a finish 41 tell you what you've scored what you've got left but it's then down to the player to work out the rest 100 Rianne now down to 80 and an opponent back on 271. Only 43. Rianne has to be a little bit careful 80. that the first two darts, if, they, if she doesn't hit the treble 20, just needs to make sure the second one doesn't block the tops. That's beautiful. Just in the right place. 40. I think you'll have seen Rianne grimace there as she missed. It's almost like there's an expectancy to hit the double every single time she throws at it, which, look, that, that's... What 105, so good, Rianne, you acquire 40. Tops it is then for a 3 0 lead for Rianne. And top she hits. Game shot and, and the third leg. 3 0 to Rianne, Rianne Sullivan. Sullivan. Fourth leg, it's Ingrid Cho first. Game on. Nice replay of that double top as well. Full time productions bringing you. 22. The streaming this afternoon and across the weekend. I remember working with the guys last year. It was their first rodeo on the, on the dart in front, and they did a fantastic job. They've had a bit more time, and as you can see, we've got a few more cameras around so we can give you, bring you bigger angles, uh, better 24. angles, and uh, also got the action replays and get some stats up at the end. So, fair play to the guys. They've done a, a great job in uh, in recognising what would make a good show, and hopefully, you guys are all enjoying it wherever you may be, in your homes, your offices, your pubs. 40. The only trouble is you've got to put up with some stupid Englishman doing the commentary, so I'll apologise for that. 176 then for Rianne. It's not an out shot. Could be bust, of course. You could hit a one, 180. But... Seen that on the odd occasion. Seventy-six in for Rianne. Pushed her average up now as well to eighty-one. Seventy-four. Rianne acquires seventy-six. More than capable of 
higher than that. Tops it is. 56. Three or eight then for Ingrid. It's a, it's a tall order from here. Seven. Rihanna require 20. Rihanna's now moved across to double 10. And so no score. <laughs> on the wire, but not there. But as you can see, with Ingrid back on 301. 55. Maybe it's Rianne this time. It's 20. Then for a, a comfortable victory, Game which it is. Shot on the match. Rihanna Sullivan. And it's Rihanna Sullivan that uh, makes her way into the next round. With a comfortable victory. And now you can see the stats. No 180s. Single 140 for both players. Nine ton pluses though for Rianne, and that's been the difference in this game. And a 65 average, Rianne more than capable of higher than that. But she's done enough. She's through to the next round, and we'll be back with your next game very shortly.
gentlemen playing in this one we have Dale McCarthy and Shane Girk just about to do battle in the last 64 of the tournament Dale to throw first, game on. And here we go, so Dale, I'm told that Dale is used to the camera, he helped, uh, helped the gentleman to my left put together 59. the video for the tournament. So, we won't be camera shy, let's put it that way. 100. The referees count called game on though, that makes, a, that's, makes it a bit of a different uh, Different situation. So let's see how he. 100. Hopes. Good start. 59 and a ton. Shane has hit a ton himself, so. 58. One hundred and forty. One forty there. Shane looking to fill it up. One hundred and forty. One forty as well. A good start to this game. Some nice scoring. A ton fifty eight and a ton forty from Shane. Fifty nine a ton. A ton forty. One hundred. Right from Dale, and then another ton as well. And and downstairs. 137. 137. Dale, you require 102. 102 for Dale. Needs the treble 14 or the ball. Double top then for 102 out shot. 62. Shane, you require 66. Shane McGurk in. 66 for Shane. Treble 10 to start with here. 16 for tops. Tops it is. One dart. Game oh, shot in the first leg. Throw. Shane McGurk. Fantastic outshot. Second leg at Shane to throw first. Game on. And he's stolen the throw. This is where we were saying he lost the ball. Dale had the darts. 85. 43. See the grimace there on Dale's face. Just 43. He knows that this isn't one of those games where a 43 is going to cut it. 140. And that's precisely why.
100. Fifty-nine. So, had the darts his leg, and as they all say, when you break the throw, the most important thing is obviously to capitalise on that break. One hundred. Own throw in the next leg, and I think that looked to me like a ton. It was, and it's taken him down to seventy-six. You can see it there on your screen now. One hundred and forty. Shane requires seventy-six. Leg, but seventy-six then. 16 for tops. Tops it is then for a 2-0 lead for Shane. 56. He won't be too disheartened because Dale's back on 2-1-8 and quite clearly can't go out on 2-1-8. Yeah. Yeah. Shane, you require 20. Double 10. Game there shot in the second leg. Shane McGurk. <laughs> Her leg is Dale to throw first. So, Dale Game knows on. That he really cannot afford to lose this leg. To have to come back from 3 0 down. And with Shane on the throw would be pretty catastrophic to be 48. Fair. And that trouble three hasn't helped his cause. One hundred. Fifty-five. One hundred. Ton, ton, ton to start with. We have James Lynch, Ian Fitzpatrick, but one of the party line, the Stephen Foley Forty-one. Trains run nicely now. Four of the party So two tons. Sixty. Really needs a treble. Ninety-six. Ninety-six. He's still points behind. Twenty points behind, to be precise. Shame. Ninety-two. 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 One hundred. Ton, ton, sixty ton. He's not doing a lot wrong, Shane McGurk. 140, Shane, you require 141. Shane on 141. That could be a 60, it might be 65. 66, Dale, you require 121. 121 for Dale, needs to treble 20. 11 for the bull, or treble 11. Double 14 then for a 121. Game shot. Lovely, lovely finish, Dale McCarthy. Well played, sir. Pressure was on there with the chain back on 75 for 3 0 lead. Four leg, it's Shane to throw first. Game, game on. Recognises that, yep, yeah, I've got the break of throw, but I need to hold my throw here. 45. And that's not the ideal start, 45. Can Dale take confidence from that, from that 1 2 1 out shot? 30. Yeah, just the 30. Interesting when Dale throws his first dart. You'll, you'll see him tilt his head. 100. Back. If you look at the background as he throws at the dartboard, as he's, as he's releasing his first dart, his head is pulling all the way back. 60. He's not. If you see here where he starts and where he ends up, there is, his head is moving a long way back before he releases that first. Not doing him any harm, to be 180. fair. First one of the game. Third one on the stream in our fourth game. Sixty. Eighty. Seventy-six left. Uh, sorry, a ninety-six left. The big problem. One hundred. So stay there, and he has stayed there. Eighty-one. Shane, you acquire seventy-six. 
76 now. So 16 for tops. And all the time in the world with his opponent back 56. in the 70s. Come under the tops again. That's what he did in the earlier legs as well. And you can see down in the audience, Shane's other half. 60. Shane, you acquire 20. Hoping that her man can execute the double 10. Game Which shot on the fourth leg, Shane McGurk. Puts him Fifth three leg, it's legs to one in front. As I say, that was a... Dale throw first. A good game hold on. there from Shane. So he's now got two legs against the dart. 60. With it to see this home. It's the first of four in this last 64 match. Sixty. Sixty. Seventy-six. Mm, one correct treble, one wrong treble, and one. <laughs> Sixty. He's the forty odd points behind here. Dan has been nice and straight with his three throws, but he hasn't. Ninety-nine. Sixty, sixty, sixty for for Dale. He's a little bit. We have a sixty, a seventy-six, and a ninety-nine. Ah, now Dale's on the table. Eighty-one. You have to get rid of the one at some point, Dale. So take it as now. 266 uh, going downstairs because 96, if he could have found 96, would have left him the 170. But 61. As it is, 61. To move 205. Down to 240. I mean, he's making a big, big hole in it. 125. 125 so, Shane really needs a ton plus here. That's a great start. Oh, yes. 85. Treble 15 would be the number. That's exactly where he's looking. And he's hit 150. Daily require 115. Dale's going to need another time plus finish. He's taken 1 2 1. Can he take 1 1 5? Treble 19. Not to be. Back to the 20s. 59. Shane, you acquire 55. And hope that Shane doesn't take this 55. 15. Double top then. He <laughs> hit treble 15, which would have left double 5, but. Hasn't and he's Game shot the on top, the match. And it's Shane McGurk. That's uh, what yeah, Shane McGurk that's gone through by four legs to one. And he progresses into the last 32. And a bit of a show of strength there from Shane. Just showing off in front of people. There's the stats 1 180. Uh, you can see the ton forces and the tons shaded by Shane as well, and that's what's seen him home. An average of 87.1 out. 1-8. He had a check out of 66 in that first leg, but it was Dale that took the highest out shot with a 1-2-1. One, one. The treble 20, treble 11 and double 14, a nice 1-2-1 one, one out shot. But it's Shane McGirt that goes into the last 32. We'll be back very shortly. <laughs> 